Real FXB D5 solar power kit. Let's load our mesh core repeater. So in the box, we get this mounting bracket. One end screws into wood or stone, and they've supplied us with a plug. And this screws into the back of this so five watt solar panel. The instructions look good to me. Very straightforward, simple. And we're gonna go inside and activate the Helltech version four that is built into this with a GPS module. Okay, so there's our instructions. There's our panel. I've already screwed the antenna on, just a normal SMA connection. When we turn it over, you'll see that we can remove these screws in. I've already removed them to save time. We've downloaded the app. There is a mounting bracket here, very much like a camera mounting bracket as well, and that's the silver screws. And there was some rubber grommets that go in these eight holes. So just note there's also an on off button here. So if I press and hold here, underneath it pushes the button and turns it on and off. It was actually getting charged there just from the light that's in this room. So I'm gonna just take these screws off, get the back off. These are the grommets that go in the holes. The back just lifts off. There's this sort of mounting bracket that we'll be using. And it's good quality hard plastic, just like your radio is. And inside the batteries were not included, but I just bought two flat tops. Uh, 18650 batteries, but you can see I could put more in there. It's all the minus this side plus that side. There's a power board there, and there's our Helltech, which we turned off. And when we press that button, you can see there's already some charge on the battery. It will turn on in, in the normal way. There it goes. So at the moment, it's got mesh tastic. You can see the SMA antenna connection. I feel like if you look at the top here, there's an indentation just here. It's quite hard to see. Um, for I think for a Wi-Fi antenna, you just have to find the Wi-Fi connection on the Helltech board. And if it hasn't got one, you can use a different board because it looks very easy to swap out. You could put Helltech version three in there. I think with the room we've got here, there's quite a few different nodes that we could squeeze in there. I've got a color one that would go in there. But anyway, there's our power board at the bottom there. Have a quick look at that. And we'll turn the whole thing round. At the bottom, you've got an access hole. Sorry, my hands keep getting in the way. Just an access hole for whatever's needed that goes in there. Uh, and then also access to the USB for when we want to connect this to our serial connection um, and, and load the Meshtastic software, which is, as you know, free and via serial um, SMA just there. So I, I think it's good. It's got a rubber grommet. Sorry, rubber sealed all the way around. You've got the rubber grommets there. It's, it's advertised IP68. It's got a C mark in there, on off button. And they sort of extended, you can see they've extended the USB down to the bottom because don't forget, normally you'd go in here. They could have put it there, I suppose. But anyway, they've, they've extended it with this board here. So they've put some work in just, I think it's good quality. So what I'm gonna do is just connect in here now and go over to the PC and just quickly load mesh core onto the Helltech version four. Okay, we're here at the Mesh Call site. Massive thanks to all involved for their work. There is a web flasher. Now, I did go to connect in here at the bottom to see if that would give me a serial connection, but it actually doesn't. So I do have to connect my, my um, if you look here, my USB cable just there. But that's okay, I can squeeze that in. So just, just so basically the USB here is a, is a, it's, a, it's charging the batteries as well as this obviously the five watt large solar panel so you can go up there and if you've got a battery bank you can give it a boost can't you we'll just swap over and you'll see that it just literally lifts away and then you just clip it back into place there's some clips here actually it gives me a chance to see if there's a uh, a wi-fi connector just there to have a look so i would say there is which is handy because i can connect a wi-fi connector just here and then if you look there, there's already a sort of partial hole just here um, where I can put a Wi-Fi antenna. And that means I can then connect to this via my Wi-Fi connection, which has a much better range than Bluetooth. But for now, let's get our cable on there and load mesh core. So what I did, I did make sure that the batteries were actually disconnected because I was a bit worried that it might get overloaded. Uh, so I just plugged it in there at the moment, via, just via serial. And I also took the batteries out. I just want to make sure there's no other power going to it apart from what it's getting from the serial connection. 
So now we're going to go over to the web flasher and we want it to be a repeater. So here we're looking for Helltech version 4. Going down. Helltech version 4, there it is there. And we want it to be a repeater. So we hit this. And I am going to tell it to erase and flash. We want we need our COM port. Uh, let's get the right one. I'll just double check. So just right click on your Windows squares or your start menu. Ports and it's COM13. Uh, that's good. So now we'll go flash again and find COM13. There it is there. It says tiny USB CDC connect. And don't forget, you know, if you want to change it back to to being a um, mesh tastic, of course you can. So I found you had to, you know, to get this to flash because it wouldn't flash at first. You can see it's flashing completely fine now. But I had to plug in the USB cable or hold down the but the top button. So they call it the program button, not the reset button, which is the bottom one. OK, uh, but the top one, then plug in the USB. Then it goes into, I don't know, program mode. And now, as you can see now, it's it's just finished programming. Uh, I've got it in my hand because it was just easier to take it out. Uh, so that's good news. So it's it's become a repeater, but we do, and you'll see there, and I'm going to put this back inside the, the device, but you'll see that it still needs setting up and you have to do it when it's connected to the cable. Uh, it, Bluetooth Wi-Fi won't work in this instance. So you can click here, configure USB. If you don't get this window appear, uh, and then we need the to connect again. I'm pretty sure let's get the right com. Well, oh, there it is there. 16, it's come back out. You get this window, okay? Uh, if it doesn't ever work, just go in again. I found that you can click this window in the mesh mesh flasher at the top. There's a little thing that says um, set up repeater. So here we are. Uh, quickly give it a name. I'm going to call it, let's delete. I'm going to call it because I'm going to, first of all, it would be my loft repeater i will start at the beginning where it is because that's what people are going to see so western oops space s space mare that's where we are and i've been advised in my area southwest uk to change the long to the narrow and then just go to the bottom and save so that's it. So now it will just start everything. It if it receives anything, it will repeat it. So I'm going to put that back inside the um, the the repeater. You can also actually go to the location here in that setup window. I'm just quickly doing that and go like so. Go to the map. <laughs> Choose your location. We will find it. Just go like that for now and set location. You can actually do that as well. Uh, just make sure it's in there. I just went back in and the frequency is there. Save settings. Let's get it back together. Now a repeater. M0 FXB Hamtech. Batteries in. And when we're outside, we'll be solar charging. And I'm finding even if I put it near a light, it's charging the batteries. So happy with that. Let's put it back, put the back on. And I've still connected my USB charger. The thing we learned was that the bottom USB is just for charging. So this is our companion that we're going to be sending messages we paired to the app. Repeater is in the loft, as you can see. And um, there's the VLUX window, but it's night time. So looking forward to see that charging tomorrow. Look, it's picking it up. Helltech repeater. You might have to go back in and set a path as well, but bye for now. All the best.